Okay, uh, hello teachers. So the purpose of this video is to show you a different way to find the volume of a rectangular prism where all the dimensions are given. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to identify uh, the length, the width, and the height of the prism. So the student should be labeling length, width, and high. Then they need to write the formula length times width times height. Okay, so they have all the dimensions. They need to substitute those values into the formula. The length is 4 centimeters, the height is 3 centimeters, and the width is 1.4 centimeters. So they are multiplying length times width times height. Okay, now they need to multiply those three numbers. So that's how they get the volume. They need to multiply the three numbers. Now you can choose to multiply the easiest number first. So for instance, I'm going to choose 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 times one point. Four. Okay, now this math, they need to do it, so they multiply that. I need to show you the work, of course. So once they do that, they get the answer. So the answer is, the volume of that prism is 16.8 centimeters cubed. Okay, so this is another problem, question number two. So you need to find the volume of that uh, shape. So it's a water throw. Uh, so the first thing that you, you do, you label the dimensions. Length is seven feet, width is two and a half feet, and height four feet. So you remember, uh, how do you find volume? You multiply the three numbers. So you write a formula, length times width times height, is just multiplying the three numbers, okay? Okay, so now you're going to write the numbers, substitute the numbers into the formula, and then you choose to multiply the easiest number first, right? 7 times 4 is 28, 28 times 2.5. Okay, so now you, you narrow it down to multiply those two numbers. So 28 times 2.5, so here I'm doing the math. Okay, so we got the answer is 70. So 70 cubic Fit. So that is the answer of this problem, okay? So on this problem, we're going to find the volume. What is the volume of a rectangular prism in cubic centimeter? This is problem number six. So the first thing that you do, you're going to label the length, the width, and the height. The length is six centimeters. The height is 4, and the width is 1.5 centimeters. So, you know, in order to find the volume, you need to multiply the three dimensions. Length times width times height. Okay, before, before doing that, uh, remember you need to uh, use the strategies. So you need to read the question and you need to uh, underline the question and box keywords. So we need to find the volume of a prism in cubic centimeters. Okay, so the dimensions are given. The length is 6, the height is 4, 
and the width is 1.5 centimeters. So we need to write the formula length times width times height. Then we need to substitute the values 6 times 1.5 times 4. Then we choose two numbers that maybe are easier to multiply. Maybe uh, 6 times 4 is 24 times 1.5. Okay. At this point, you can stop and look at the answer choices. You multiply two numbers and you got 24. And you need to multiply it by 1.25. So that means the answer is going to be higher than 24, right? A little bit higher because it's only 1.5. So right there, you can eliminate, you can look at the answer choices. So you can see H does not make sense because uh, the volume is equal to 11.5, so no way. The, the volume so far, we multiply two numbers and it has to be 24. So it has to be higher than 24. So you can eliminate H because it's too low. Then you know that you are multiplying by 1.5, so it's going to be a little bit higher, but not, not very high. You're not multiplying by 100. So that means you can see G, G is too high. So that one you can eliminate as well, based on the 24. Just by multiplying two numbers, you can see that you can eliminate two answers right away. Okay, then you are left with uh, 36 and 48. So one of those two cho choices are correct. Well, you need to do the math. So you multiply 24 times 1.5, and you're going to get 36, okay? So the answer of this problem is 36 cubic centimeters. Okay, and the last problem that we're going to do is finding the volume of this uh, prism, and they're giving you the three dimensions, this rectangular prism. So the first thing, you write your formula, length times width times height. Then you're going to label the dimensions on the shape. The length is 7 feet, the height is 5 feet, and the width is 3.5. Then you're going to multiply the three numbers. That will give you the volume. Okay? Third step, you're going to multiply 7 times 5 which is 35. Okay. And then you may look at the answer choices. If you have a number less than 35, you can eliminate that answer choice. You're multiplying by 3. So 35 times maybe 4. So you know... You can estimate as well. That's another skill in mathematics. You can estimate, estimate uh, four, uh, maybe round 35 to 40 and 3.5 to 4. So you're multiplying 40 times 4 is about uh, 160 or less, right? So the answer is going to be around 160. But we're going to do the math, of course. So 35 times 3.5, we do the math, and we get the exact answer. But we know it's in the range of 160 or below, okay? Okay, so we got 122.5. At least we knew that it was less than 160, uh, the answer. Just estimate it. Remember, estimation is, is a good skill to have in mathematics. Okay, now the answer is 122.5 cubic feet.